I'm Steve James, uh, documentary filmmaker from Chicago. I mean, I'm interested in subjects that find themselves in challenging situations, facing uh, significant moments in their lives. The recent film is called The Interrupters. In some ways, it's kind of coming <clears throat> full circle for me as a filmmaker back to the streets of Chicago where we made Hoop Dreams. You know, I was troubled by the violence in Chicago. Felt like it was an issue that a lot of people felt numbed by or helpless about. Um, two prominent um, subjects from Hoop Dreams have been murdered since that film was completed. It's a film about uh, violence interrupters who are ex-gang members, drug dealers, convicts who now work on the streets of Chicago in the very same neighborhoods where they used to be part of the problem and at times even violent part of the problem and now they try to mediate conflicts and prevent violence they're part of this innovative program it was a weekend of deadly violence more than three dozen Chicago students were murdered in the last school year violence is like the great infectious diseases we're using the methods that are used for reversing any epidemic. Well, I, I think that it's important that, that you, you're really honest with subjects from the start about what it is you're trying to do. It's going to change. In most films that are interesting in the process, things change. You, you have a certain idea of what you're going to do and what you expect at the beginning and then it evolves. You know, when you're spending extensive time with people over a period of literally years, you, you know, it becomes more than just a filmmaker-subject relationship. You want it to be more than that. And that's also a double-edged sword because you're documenting their lives and when misfortune happens to them, you're, you're sort of wearing two hats. You're wearing the hat of being a friend, uh, someone in their life, who you come to care about and they care about you, you're also there documenting their life and, and that can be uncomfortable at times. And I think that, you know, you, it, it, there's no easy answer to that question. I think you just have to navigate it in a way where you feel like you're still making an honest film about your subject, but that you, you're more than just a filmmaker to them. Have there been any conflicts mediated on the front end? The last 30 days has been nothing but violence. We've had, I think it's 18 shootings in the last 16 days, 10 of them dead. Most of the violence in the weapons That's come from the hierarchy in some of these gangs. Because can't know anybody come in and tell a guy to put his gun down. And I have the dirty dozen at the table. We all meet people that we find interesting and when you sort of scratch the surface a little bit and try to think about what it is about that person that's interesting, you know, that's not a bad process if you're trying to find a subject for a film. Just, it's a gut feeling at that point. You, you meet someone, you, you assess the situation, and then you, your gut tells you that this person's interesting. And, but it is, you know, you're kind of setting out on an adventure that you don't know where it's going to lead. I think getting started sometimes is the hardest part, you know, I think, um, because I think that you know, if you have some sense of what it's going to require in terms of commitment to finish and you don't have any resources to start, which I've been there, um, it can be daunting to think about starting a film and wondering whether you should even take it on or not. And I think there's also this fear um, of are you good enough to do it? Do you have what it takes to do it? Will it be any good? All of those things can, can paralyze you at the, from the start about beginning a film. Um, I just feel like you just put one foot in front of the other and you just do it.